Lawmakers are working right now to make sure there is enough diabetes medication for people who need it. Eyewitness News viewers have actually been reaching out to Channel 3 because they say pharmacies are struggling to keep those drugs in stock. Our consumer reporter Cassidy Williams joins us now live at the state capitol with more on a bill that could make a major, major impact. Good morning, Cassidy. Good morning. Legislation that would regulate two drugs is making its way through the Capitol. The drugs are Trulicity and Ozempic, originally for type 2 diabetes. They are also now FDA approved for weight loss. And as more people want the drugs, they are getting harder to find. It's a situation that many people with type 2 diabetes are finding themselves in. When he first elevated me to 4.5, I went to pick it up. Didn't have it. They didn't have the three, which I had been taking. And I had to call another place to get the 1.5 or else I would have been totally without it. And I think that's very bad. Scott Dyer is one of the many Connecticut residents who have reached out with stories of not being able to find Trulicity and or Ozempic. The drugs regulate sugar levels. They are also now being prescribed for weight loss. A woman in Wallingford told Channel 3 she's lost 45 pounds since she started taking Ozempic in early December. She plans to take the drug for the rest of her life. But one lawmaker says the people with diabetes should come first. This is a drug for diabetics and it should be used for that purpose. State Senator Kevin Kelly has proposed a bill that would restrict prescriptions and sales of the drugs. The bill would only allow prescriptions for people with type 2 diabetes until the shortage is over. They just found that to be somewhat fundamentally unfair to those people who need this because of their diabetic condition, uh, and it's a life-saving drug. And yesterday, the General Law Committee unanimously moved this bill forward, and there are still quite a few steps, though, before it would become law, and we'll continue to follow that. Live in Hartford, Cassidy Williams, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.